Hello, sixth grade. I'm going to be reading your fourth crunch for ELA today. It's called The Princess Mouse. Read the folk tale, then answer the questions on the next page. Once upon a time, there was a farmer who had two sons. When they were old enough to marry, he told them, you must each cut down a tree, walk in the direction it points, and you will meet your beloved. The older brother knew whom he wanted to marry, so he made sure his tree fell in the direction of her cottage. Miko, the younger brother, did not have this skill. His tree pointed into the forest. Miko walked through the forest until he found a cottage. He went inside, but the cottage was empty. I'll never find my beloved, he lamented. Don't be so sure, said a small voice. Miko looked around and saw a mouse. You are only a mouse. How can you be my beloved? Miko asked. Once you get to know me, you might like me, the mouse replied. Miko stayed and talked with the mouse. She was kind and smart, and Miko liked her very much. When Miko got home, the, farm, the farmer had more to tell his sons. Your brides must weave a cloth for me. If it is good, you may be married, he said. Miko went back to tell the mouse this news. You cannot weave. You are only a mouse, Miko said sadly. All will be well, said the mouse. Miko sat down and soon fell asleep. The mouse called over all her mouse and rat friends. Together they wove a cloth, which they then folded into a nutshell. When Miko woke, the mouse gave him the shell. He carried it home to his father. When his father opened the shell, Everyone watched in amazement as he pulled out yard after yard of fabric. Your beloved is a great weaver, exclaimed his father. <clears throat> the next day, Miko returned to visit the mouse. Is today the day we marry, she asked. Yes, it is, little mouse, said Miko, though I am worried. What will my family think when I bring home a mouse to be my bride? All will be well, said the mouse. She whistled in a tiny carriage made of a nutshell pulled up to the cottage. It was pulled by rats instead of horses and driven by a mouse with another mouse footman behind. Miko's bride climbed into her carriage and he followed. As the carriage pulled up to Miko's house, everyone stared. Miko had brought a mouse for his bride. This won't do, said Miko's brother, and he kicked the carriage into the river. What have you done, cried Miko. You killed my beloved. You may think she was only a mouse, but I loved her. Miko began to cry, but then his father gasped in amazement. Look, he said, pointing to the river. Out climbed two men, four horses, and one wet but beautiful princess. <clears throat> a witch put a spell on me and turned me into a mouse, said the princess. She said the spell could only be broken by one brother who loved me and another who hated me. I did not think it would ever happen, but now it has. So the two brothers were married and both were happy. When Miko returned to his bride's cottage, he found it had turned into a beautiful castle. There they lived happily ever after. Number one, who was the protagonist in this passage? A, Miko, B, the mouse, C, Miko's dad, or D, the witch. Number two, who is the antagonist in this passage? A, Miko, B, the mouse, C, Miko's dad, or D, the witch. Select two statements that should be included in a summary of passage one. Two. A, Miko was an open-minded character who looked for the good in other characters. <clears throat> B, Miko was a closed-minded character who did not look for the good in other characters. C. The mouse was a good person who just wanted others to like her. D. The mouse deserved for no one to like her because she was a mouse. Or E. The father was right and Miko should have let the mouse drown. You're going to choose two that would be in a summary. Number four. Even though it says number three again, it's actually number four. Select three sentences 
from the passage that show the true character of Miko. Three. A. Miko walked through the forest until he found a cottage. B. Miko stayed and talked to the mouse. C. Miko went back to tell the mouse this news. D. Miko began to cry, but then his father gasped in amazement. E. Miko has brought a mouse for his bride. Again, you're going to choose three. Number five. Identify one thing that happened in the story that could happen in real life and one thing that could not really happen. Support your answer with details from the passage. So you're going to identify two things. One of them could happen in real life. The second one could not. And number six. In this passage, the mouse is worried that no one will like her. Create a thesis statement to identify a time when you were worried that no one else would like you, would like you or a friend. Then create an essay response to support your thesis statement. Write a multi-paragraph response in the space provided. So you are going to create a thesis statement. And you're going to tell a time about when you were worried that somebody wouldn't like you, just like the princess was worried that somebody wouldn't like her because she was a mouse. All right, multi-paragraph essay. If you can get more than one, that would be great. All right, good luck, sixth grade.